A game tick is a 600 millisecond interval in which every action or continuation of queued events happens. For example, you click on that bank booth. It does not open instantaneously. It will open when the next game tick happens. It may seem instant, but as you can see, I can right click before it actually happens. If it was instant, that would not be the case. Another thing to mention is that every game tick you can perform up to 9 actions, if they have no wait phase, such as dropping items, fletching bolts, and darts. An example of a continuation of events is agility. When you click an obstacle, the first tick is when you initially start your animation and move one tile, in most cases at least. And for however many tiles there is to the end of the obstacle, there will be one tick per tile if you're walking, or one tick per two tiles if you're running slash moving fast. Moving fast can be like monkey bars or things like that. Your ping to the server of the world you're on will also affect your game tick. To say the time till game tick is currently 550 milliseconds in, meaning in 50 milliseconds the game tick will happen. If you have a ping of 52 milliseconds, your actions won't be sent to the server saying you're trying to click this tree or bank booth until next tick, 2 milliseconds in, meaning essentially you just lost that game tick due to your ping and your timing. Because of this, you want to be in a world with the lowest milliseconds delay for your area. In an instance where there is a continuation of queued events, only the first game tick will be based on your ping to the server. After this, the rest of the game ticks in the queued events will be very close to 600 milliseconds, as it will be based on JAGS the servers now instead of your distance from the server. Zero tick actions, commonly referred to as a one tick, which isn't the best way to explain it, because you can do this action up to nine times per tick, not one. So essentially, when something has a wait phase of zero, you can do it up to nine times per tick. Depending on your speed, most people can barely get three to four actions per tick, even with mouse keys, assuming they aren't cheating with multiple input to output. For skills such as woodcutting, fishing, and mining, there is a shared method with three phases. The start phase, the wait phase, and the chance phase. They basically go like this. Phase 1. Start phase. This is one tick long and is where the game says you're starting to fish, woodcut, or mine. Your character then turns towards the object and the wait phase is now initialized. Phase 2. Wait phase. The amount of ticks in the wait phase is dependent on the skill. Mining is one tick, woodcutting is two tick, fishing is three tick. This is where you start your animation. You swing your pickaxe, you chop your axe, you cast a rod into the sea, and where the game pretty much has a timer waiting so you don't get resources extremely quickly. After the last wait tick, chance phase is initialized. There's one exception when using the dragon pickaxe in mining, as it has a 1 in 15 chance of skipping the wait phase, which makes that ore you mine 2 tick instead of 3 as you skip the 1 tick in the wait phase for that ore. Phase 3, chance phase. This, like the start phase, is 1 tick. Now, this phase is different for each of the three skills. For fishing, you have a chance of catching a fish or getting nothing. Then you restart the same animation in which occurred in the start phase. For woodcutting, you have a chance of cutting a log or getting nothing. Then based on your woodcutting level, you have a chance of the tree turning into a stone. In this case, your animation is force ended. Meaning, even if you aren't done your animation, the animation stops. If the tree doesn't turn into a stump, you now restart the same animation again from the start phase. For mining, you have the chance of mining an ore, or getting nothing. If you get nothing, the start phase restarts along with your animation. If you get the ore, the rock depletes and turns into an empty object. With all this being said, the way you make skills faster with the tick system is by changing the wait phase. To do this, you start an action that has a lower wait phase than the skill you are currently doing. For example, if I click on this tree and click on the fishing spot, the wait phase for this one fish will be 2, because I clicked on a tree. Woodcutting has a wait phase of 2 ticks, whereas fishing is 3. So the start phase of woodcutting was 1 tick, the wait phase of woodcutting is 2 ticks, and the chance phase of fishing is 1 tick. So essentially, by changing the wait timer of this one fish, we caught it 4 ticks instead of 5. Another example, something I'm known for doing with fishing and woodcutting, personally, is using darts and knives. Because darts and knives on rapid have a wait phase of 1 tick, when we attack with this and click on a fishing spot slash tree, we will get the fish slash log in 3 ticks instead of 5 for fishing, instead of 4 for woodcutting. 
Finally, the forced weight phase. This is used in skills such as agility, thieving, and firemaking. The difference between a normal weight phase and a forced weight phase is you cannot click anywhere or perform any actions while starting this. And because this is a different timer than a normal weight phase, you cannot change the timer of this. So you can only change the timer if you do another action before this with the same type of timer. And as you cannot perform any actions while one forced weight phase is happening, you cannot ever change this timer. This video ended up being longer than I expected, so if I kept your interest up until this point, feel free to like and subscribe. If not, well, thanks for giving the full video a watch.